Greetings everyone, and great here with another Comfy Rose 1 replay. I spawn on the bottom left side as the British forces of I. Kranksky. Spawn as his US teammate, we have Saru, sir. Or if you're a Canadian, sorry, sir. And as the opponent, as the Vermont player of Crazy Play Z Style Z. As his Vermont ally, we have Entente Pro Allies, Allies Pro. Section Scope ready. rifles, perhaps I'm to capture up. Nope, they're going for the. Nope, they are. Maybe? Yes, they are going to capture the munitions point there. The what? Uh, oh, is he trying to do something like move the leader bug? Is that what he's doing? I have no idea. Ex okay, I have no idea what he's doing actually. There's also the. F I usually we see the British player set up on this fuel point or on this munitions point. But the Brits sort of dancing around, not really capturing up a point. We do got this uh, rifle uh, intersection squad advancing forward as well. What is he doing? That's just annoying the crap out of me. Now let's look at it. Now I keep on seeing it. These guys could have been moving at full speed by this time if he hadn't been dancing around. We do got the engineers and the pioneers probably engage each other. I am old enemies. And we got the jeep here to support as well. Pioneers switching away four, capturing up that strategic point. Two pioneers, we've got an MG42 now deployed down the field. And this uh, jeep should be able to do some good work. Though it all depends on how the MG42 sets on up. Because of course the MG42 is relatively effective versus the jeep. And now we've got a motorcycle deployed out on the field. Over here we do got a motorcycle as well. Fine to uh, keep this area somewhat secure. Engineer receiving some automatic weapon fire. It would be strange if the jeep did not have automatic weapon. Also those grenades. That will make it not automatic. Engineers pushing way forward or just trying to dance around the motorcycle. Getting some decent damage there. Jeep is advancing, but Jeep is getting hit by the MG42. So the MG42 is doing a good job there. Motorcycles pushing way forward as well. There's a lot of damage on that Jeep. And probably asking what's the teammates doing to hurt. That's the bricked question marking. I'm not so sure what's going on. Jeep in pursuit. Or motorcycle in pursuit of the Jeep. And he doesn't actually finish off that uh, Jeep there, so he should be able to get that repaired up. No problem. Got a bread here out of the field. And good damage there from the engineers getting a damage engine crit on the motorcycle. May have been a good idea just to suicide in on the Jeep. Yes. Bread carrier deployed on out. We may see the left tent load in the back or the infantry section. Rifleman squad does get some good suppression there. Or receives some good suppression, I should say. Pioneer constantly firing away, getting some good damage in as well as my Rifleman squad is fully pinned. Brendan Carey is advancing, does go ahead and overrun the MG42, getting some damage on both those squads around there. And does force back the MG42. Volks Grandier are advancing, does get behind some heavy cover there, and sending some rounds there on the Lieutenant, which actually is a better target overall. He won't be able to deal with the Brendan Carrier. And right now, still dancing around. Maybe want to get inside this garrison. There is a handful of windows. Not a great amount, though. Lieutenant's forced on back from the MG42. Motorcycle and Volksgrandier is advancing over here. We've got the Jeep now fully repaired. Rifleman squad getting reinforced. And looks like another rifleman squad being deployed on out as well. Now, we've got two Volksgrandier squads here. The split trench has not completed, so it will be gunned down. They'll show those sandbags who's boss. Folks right here seen quite a bit of fire from the Bren carrier, and that is actually a Bren upgrade. I was first thinking that upgrade symbol was meaning he got for the MMG carrier upgrade, but he actually gone for some early Brens. For the Bren, and he could load up Brens on the Bren carrier. He does load the Brens on the Bren carrier. It's fulfilling its uh, namesake. We got a landmine spot here. Thinks the scope rifle squad does deploy designated marksman there on top of the M42, killing off the gunner, and should be able to wipe out the uh, decrew that squad. There are four members there. He could put, nope. He could jump out of the Bren squad to capture the gun. I would actually do that. Then you can load up a scope rifle squad in the back of the Bren carrier. There's four spots over there, and not all of them will be firing. So the scope rifle, three-man scope rifle squad, would be more than plenty to, to crew that. 
for the garrison, the Bren Carrier. Rifle Squad, should I be picking up the MG42 as well? And this left hand is still very quite wounded and a little bit exposed right here. We're seeing lots of fire there. It does fall back, could potentially be white. That landmine was detonated there by the Rifle Squad with her feet. And it looks like this intersection in the back of the Bren Carrier also lost the model in one of the engagements. Has Fossils Connect takes out the Bren Carrier as well. It does get a couple models down as well. Rifleman do throw a grenade on out. Get some good damage there. And Veramox Sniper has the same some fire there, but nothing too critical. Does send another good shot in there as well. We're seeing more fire from the Rifleman squad. And now we've got the MG42 start hitting the Rifleman. So they should be suppressed relatively shortly. We do got the Sappers now deployed out, which means he does also have this field support truck. Jeep and engineers making the way forward as well. Looks like the Rifleman squad here getting some good flanking shots there. Throws a grenade on the, on the MG42. Does fall back in time. Oh crap, I'm losing a lot of bit rate, rate. I apparently lost a lot of network connection there. Sorry about that. I just now realized that. Should be stabilized at the moment. Hmm. I'm not uploading any, any replays at the moment. I'm not sure what caused that. Actually, next game, I may want to just look around, make sure nothing's randomly downloading. Another Wehrmacht Sniper deployed out on the field. We've got the landmine here as well. Yeah, it looks like a, a fourth of the stream I was going at was perhaps down. So that would be about three minutes worth. Nothing too critical, but still disconcerting. Sorry about that. Volks Grandiers are pushing on four. Does force back the scope rifle squad. They do detonate a landmine or sweep it. Whatever you want to call it at that point in time. And that is a U.S. landmine there as well. We do got a captain now out on the field as well as a 17-pounder. So the trenchers there as well. Very nice. Those are the Brits going to just go ahead and hold down and keep this central sector as secure as he can get it. As a Phelps firing. Jeep goes down as the gunner and the driver flies into the distance. Clearly their planet needs them. The problem is this is their planet. Both is making the way forward as well. No vectors on them just yet. Slit Trench was scuttled there. Want to avoid the sniper fire. Snipers, of course, effective versus those garrisons. Finds a landmine there with the Volkswagen Dare. Leaving down the one model. 70 pounder rolls a miss on the final model. And now we've got bar riflemen and engineers making their way forward. Some of these snipers are a little bit wounded. And Scope Rifle Squad and Piet Squad advancing. Does destroy the heavy cover there with the Piets. Very nice. And now the Volk Screeners are falling back. Riflemen and Engineers making their advance four as well. You got a mine from that Engineer Squad, which can be very handy indeed. The last remaining light vehicle is still out on the field. Just one motorcycle. And they do fight. The Riflemen are taking a really good engagement there, while this Riflemen is not taking good engagement. Just inside the garrison there. One window there. For the bar to fire out of. Captain's falling back, and we've got US medics out the field. Not British medics, but US medics. Having both players get one set of medics make it so they can cover a lot of casualties. It takes quite a bit of time to uh, kill off four medics rather than just two. Grenades do get thrown. That's going to be a good grenade. Yep, the crews, the MG42 as well. Is this one ever recaptured? Not sure by who, though. Grenadier does need some help. Was that stun grenades? Oh, was, that was a Grenadier squad. Was that a stun grenade or a river grenade? This guy. Wait, what? Oh, he got killed while camouflage. Long story short, there is a setting in the game where automatic weapons and weapons that fire that miss can spread out and hit other targets nearby and not the initial target. So it was shooting at one squad and hit the nearby model there. At least that's how it is in Computer Heroes 2. Can't say about Computer Heroes 1. 
That's a great land set of landmines. That wipes out a Panzer Shrek Grenadier. Front guns making their way forward. Scope rifles pushing their way forward as well. May see a casualty recovery bunker there. Volks Grenadiers right here. Flame Engineers making their advance well, and we'll start burning the Volks Grenadiers. Each section is making quite a big advance there. Got the casualty recovery bunker there now. Able to pass pat recover. Well, some casualties. That medic is not being shot at. The Grenadier is. It does focus on that medic now. But there's still another medic there, so the casualty will be recovered. There's this medic there. Actually going a bit farther forward. I don't see where he's going now, but he should be recovering this uh, casualty now. What they need to call in artillery. And it looks like the Brit has selected like Royal Artillery. Not big surprise. Unknown doctrine selection by the US player. Has a small amount of resource flow. Nothing too critical or crazy. Got quite a bit of manpower and fuel here. And no doctrine selected. And no doctrine selected here as well. So maybe that was not stun grenades. Maybe that was regular grenades. Does sweep that landmine there. Thanks to Scope Rapid Squad. We got the Sappers pushing away forward. We got a number of items being deployed out for this player. Or it just was reinforcements. It's all being selected. And the Volks Grenadiers do fall back now with the MG42. Rifleman squads are advancing as well, forcing back those Grenadiers. Magenta has lost a lot of casualties right there. Let's take a quick look at him. As a lot of infantry units, that's for sure. Volks Grandiers are falling him back. We're seeing quite a bit of fire right there. Sniper. I don't think you actually find a shot there. Could have been. Sometimes one of those ghost shots where they just fires, but it doesn't actually fire. I think Copy Rose 2 largely fix that with the wind up and cooldown firing times. I could be mistaken about that. Replacements fall in. Yes, sir. Uh he's getting inside this garrison. I'm not sure why that may be a misclick. And Sapper Squad receives some sniper fire. And that is a Vermont landmine there. These Bren Gunners could spot it with their feet. And down south, looks like these engineers do get cleaned up by the Scope Rifle Squad. And there's actually a Cromwell now on the field that may have been his shot there. So we do got a fresh Cromwell. First medium tank out in the field. I do like seeing more unusual units. And believe it or not, the Cromwell is an unusual unit. Yeah. I should probably say the more rare units. The Cromwell will help dictate the flow of the battle, getting a nice infantry support vehicle like that. Nice and early should be able to help pick off a lot of infantry units, but there is a lot of AT in the region. Some Pantrex, some AT guns, so it won't be a really powerful asset. Just a nice one to have. A couple of landmines here, both for the US player. Right, so they're making an advance, and this Volks Grenadiers, these Volks Grenadiers and Grenadiers have Veteran C2 as well. US Medic charging on force once again, and now he's uh, not charging forward anymore. Sniper shots there. We do have a US 30 cal emplacement. Farmwell has received a shot there, it may have been from this Pack 38. And it looks like there's three casualties covered from this bunker as well. One more is a free grenadier. Folks, ah, grenadiers are advancing as well. Riflemen try and will stop the decapture that point there as well. He is running into some of the wire. I think he's actually forced to find the wire right there. The Panthers should be able to clean up a lot of this heavy cover there, but that's mostly cover for him to use. They are falling a little bit short there as well. It does stay on top of the US landmine, which could be a bad idea with these Panther Shrek's in this region. This medic could cover a casualty, giving a free Grenadier, but likely will be gunned down in a moment. Assuming he's paying attention. And up north, we do have another bunker. That's going to be a full MG bunker. 
Metacast receives some bolts there, but will be a skip on out as the Scrandiers are advancing as well. Carpet Squad does fall back Our over here. We do have the scope rifles already. are advancing as well. Trying to overrun that pack 38. Almost gets it. Does get drop a model there, so it's a good idea to get that reinforced to avoid any single shot. Wipe it out. Also quite wounded. Another pack 38 here. And good suppression coming out by the MG bunker. He won't be able to advance to the MG bunker in the, re in the region, that's for sure. Farmer was seeing some much needed repairs. And now we've got a Stormtrooper squad. So it looks like this player has gone for Blitzkrieg, but this player has gone for defensive. Way more down south, we've got another Cromwell, no, Cromwell Command Tank. And those Stormtroopers should be able to quickly find them. He'd like to get his Command Tank just for the ability to get uh, Fireflies later on. Plus the Command Tank wouldn't be half bad to inspire him. So getting a quick kill on that command uh, armor command truck wouldn't be half bad. Only doctrine we don't know about yet is the U.S. player's gun for infantry doctrine. So they've all been selected. Good snipe shots there as well. Getting couple models dropped. And also the Wehrmacht snipers are still very much alive. 19 kills. Now 20 and 7 kills. Front shape. Rifleman gains some good hits there on those Volks Grenadiers, but the snipers are still kicking away against the Rifleman. Rifleman tried to throw a grenade there, does get cancelled there. And is that off-map or on-map howitzer? We do have an on-map howitzer, so we got our, our war artillery and introduction artillery pieces. So there's going to be a lot of artillery to say the least. These forces are charging forward, does get a lot of hits there. Volk's Grenadier Squad Enemy does get wiped unit. out, got overran in an instant, and does not get that decrewed, but wiping out Volk's Grenadier is nice. Two casualties recovered on this bunker, and looks like the Stormtroopers may have actually cleaned up that armor command truck as well. Very nice. Wire this. I'm not sure what he's talking about wiring. Building complete. We'll spot the armor uh, Cromwell and the regular Cromwell. I think I'll buy those things would be quite nice. Weapon crew lost. Oh, 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 oh. Enemy unit down. Why do I keep on finding snipers finding landmines? I swear, it happens way too often in this game. That's a ball game. Construction finished. What if I should start making a montage of all the times people find landmines of the snipers? Stormtroopers do fall back. And these Rockman and Flamer Engineers start making way forth. They will run to an MG42. And they should be forced back quite quickly. We may see a grenade from the Grenadiers. It does walk into the Flamer range. And of course, we do have a Flak 80 on the high ground now. Veteran C1 sees so that one light vehicles. One grenade was thrown. Relatively okay, nothing too significant. Flamer Engineer may go down the sky. Both these now pinned by the 30 cal. 30 cal place is almost down. And the medics are now being cleaned on up there. Cromwell and Cromwell command take a make the way forward. Grindir squad has withdrawn. Do you have the off-map how to shoot now raining on in? Could be on top of the Flak 88. First round there. Yep, it's like on top of the Flak 88. One model has gone down. Just explain the rounds are deployment. spreading quite wide, but he is going to get decrewed by the infantry fire. He is going to sign the very distort them in placement itself. I need to receive quite a bit of hits there. The remaining Wehrmacht sniper. Squirting around, trying to forward fire, sprinting these guys forward there, trying to get the death boy designated marksman. Does spot the uh, pack 38, and these guys are pulling pin. Does fully really destroy the flak 8, very nice. Rip, I'm guessing repair something. 
Uh, maybe not. What are my oh, maybe he's ping the repair bunker. That's maybe what it was. Apart from now, Vector C2, we've seen quite a bit of fire from these forces. A couple of models away over here. Those are a frag grenade there, and that was not that great. They did get forced back a little bit. The M2's running on in as well. Looks like he finished off the other sniper. Now, I do got a Panther out on the field. One level, Veteran C as well. This one has gone for defensive. This one's gone for Blitzkrieg. He may have gone down the manpower blitz line. No, he's gone for defensive, reserves. not Blitzkrieg. Oh, yeah, he did go for uh, Blitzkrieg. Stormtroopers, I'm getting them all mixed up now. Yep, Panther has been spotted. Crush Grandiers have been plotted now. Pack 30 has been repaired. And these guys are going to try skirmishing around as well. Pack 38 may get wiped out. There is a set of PS there not being focused down. And we do have a priest firing somewhere. Does roll a bounce there. Pack 38 does manage to crawl away. Grandiers and folks, Grandiers needs to be damned there, forcing back the British infantry. The enemy is down to 300 points. Losing ground out there. Looks like he may be barraging the base. Yeah, he is actually barraging the base. And now we do have a... Oh, that's a creeping barrage. He's trying to kill off the uh, units that are retreating back. And maybe how he killed a sniper. Grenier does go down as well. Nasty creeping barrage. Ooh, good hit there as well. There's even quite a bit of fire as well. It does need to fall back and some repairs. British infantry making the way forward once again. Got the two scope rifles and the Bren gunner. The Piet squad is trying to make their advance. Just to be with these guys moving a little bit too quickly out of uh, out of sector. The Bren gunner at least. Okay, there's a lieutenant nearby. Maybe I was mistaken. It does connect, getting main gun destroyed there on the Panther. Doesn't get a killed off. Now, we do have the Knights Cross Orders are advancing. And they're getting ripped apart because they're way outnumbered. They potentially can get wiped out. Enemy unit down. They do get wiped out. We got a squad of Rangers not up on the field. And got a fresh squad of riflemen reformed. Piet's trying to get a little closer this there. Does button it to a close distance. And that got killed. Vet 3 Lieutenant now out on the field. More and more artillery raining on in, keeping these guys in a choke point there. They only been fighting infantry there. Good hits there by a warferman. Yep, we've got one warferman half track right here. That is a Goliath right there, in which the Rangers could find that shortly. Looks like he was facing the wrong angle now, trying to pursue the Rangers. The Rangers currently only have the bazooka upgrades, it's the anti tank one. And the M2 now running on in, missing it. And he's not paying attention. Oh, wipe on a Ranger squad. Nice cross orders will be forcing him back. Forcing back one of the rifle squad. There's still two riflemen and a flamer engineer in the region. Stormtroopers are seeing quite a bit of fire right now. That's an AT gun there. We do have, of course, the two priests, the command tank, and the, the Cromwell. So maybe at this point in time, rather than going for Panthers, going for Panther 4 or Austin's going to be half bad. They have plenty of AT. They've been having trouble dealing with infantry, not necessarily vehicles. Rockman squad and the squad does get pinned there, trying to capture the munitions point now. As the nice cross orders are advancing, Rockman squad does force them back. These uh, Grandiers and Volks Grandiers will need to be a fallback of shortly there as well. A little bit out of number. Warframe and Barrage running on in. Rolls a complete miss. Quite a nice uh, tight little scatter right there. Well, if I just see one at the moment on them. Another Warframe in. Likely for another, well, another half track for Warframe in. Losing ground out there. And now do got a bunk here, and based on its angle, that could be a repair bunker or a casualty recovery bunker. I honestly cannot say. And 
Medic starts to make its way forward as well. We've got the Knights Cross Holders advancing. And Stormtroopers are falling back as well. We've got the Heroic Charge now being activated. And Knights Cross Holders do get forced on back. Mainly get level 3 Vectracy on those guys. Let's take a quick look at resources. For the Brit, we have a little manpower, nothing too crazy. Same for the US player. Same for the Fairmont player. And same for the other Fairmont player. But we do have manpower blitz for, well, more manpower. No additional vehicles at the moment. And I've got the rifle squad trying to hit the Volksgrandeers as these uh, British infantry force stars freaking on their way forward. We do go as a severely wounded Pack 38. Has all three members alive, just nothing left of them. And with the captain in this region, that's going to be a very hard uh, log for the Axis players to deal with. <clears throat> Recommend squad and flame rangers advance as well. Looks like he only fired maybe one rocket there. Nope, he fired all of his rockets. Gave some great hits there. Does force him back. Pack 38 will likely get overran. Does have too low efficiency on the light vehicles. Another war from the barrage raining on in somewhere. I'm not sure where though. Maybe on these guys. They're going to lose that. Eh, observation was so it's plenty of health left, but that barrage is outright missing. And the Project 38 will get decrewed there. He may claim it for himself. And he will claim it for himself. That's cross orders are advancing as well. We've got all six models still alive. He knows squad is severely wounded. And getting some great damage there on the rifleman squad. Flame Rangers, however, still very much alive. Those fall back to the squad now. Keep all of his models alive, except for one of them on that squad. But we'll need perhaps to use medical crates on them. There is a casualty recovery bunker there. There's a pair of casualties here. One medic is dead. It does throw out some more base there on the bunker itself. Stormtroopers now receive fire there. Up north, we've got the flame engineers advancing as well. They do fall back. He spent. Did he use another manpower buster? I'm not sure what he spent his manpower on. Maybe. Yeah, he looks like a third Knight's Cross Holders. This one seems some medical supplies there. Needs a lot of health. And this one needs to be recaptured as well. The allies have a significant ticket advantage. Over 400 for in their opponents. Only has a 176. Or 174. War from Barrage raining on in. Largely missed. Now it looks like the second one's raining in as well. This driving squad gets ripped apart by the nice cross holders. They do find this AT gun right there. They do get some hits there on those scope rifles. They do receive a dead deploy the in marksman there and receive quite a bit of uh, P at fire as well. That squad will fall back with one model remaining. Maybe we'll get the wipe there. It does get a wipe there thanks to the body block of its own squad and a nice well placed P it. Nice cross holders do fall back there. It looks like we may have another creeping barrage into the space sector. It looks like we're angling up this way. Go for another nice cross holders. Got all these forces now advancing as well. Stormtroopers are firing away their pan tricks as the nice cross holders are advancing. Rifleman squads are advancing as well. Most of the X mostly contain that back in their base. Yeah. 
do have level 3 efficiency on, of course, on these infantry forces over here. We don't have any efficiency on the support weapons, but we do have bet 3 infantry squads as well. Warframe Barrage raining on in, forcing back the right from the squads. And we've got now air burst rounds, Overwatch. They will be forced on back. Do pull back. There's also US land miner here as the M1 guns are taking some pop shots as well. Orphan half tracks making their advance, trying to eye for a barrage on somewhere. And now we've got this land mine here. Will not be spotted by that squad. Will be detonated there by the 17 pounder. That squad does get wiped out. And the medic will claim himself another casualty. Squad does fall back right there. We'll need immediately to capture the point. Axe do not have a whole lot of tickets remaining. Camouflage pack 38. Not really doing all too much. Victory reserve. Stand at 100 points and dropping. And starting to repair up the base HQ now. Panzer Command still alive, going for another Knight's Cross Holders. It wasn't he already going for another one? Did he lose another squad? Oh yeah, we did see one go down the middle of the map. Stormtrooper squad does fall back. And since House Cross Holders are already starting to advance, well. We need to focus on those flavor engineers and do a surprising amount of damage to the nice cross soldiers. Plus, a pretty easy force back well. Great grenade there on that nice cross soldiers. Forces of that. Press squad does advance well. Force back the environment in the engineer squad. Now, this guy will be around. We've got a huge force of British infantry now advancing. Fresh two deployed on the field. we got a plan of manpower as well. Going to vet two tanks. Now he got the warp and garage, forcing back those forces. We got three priests now on the field. I'm just artillery that put us to death. Blue's taking quite a severe beating. These nice cross orders do avoid the barrage. This one needs uh, medical supplies to use on them. Both of them could use it. At this low in health, it's they're a sneeze away from death. Promo does not get killed off there. That's a damage injury there. Receives another miss. <coughs> Sorry about that. Priest going for a close range barrage there. Kills off the Pioneer Squad and the Stormtrooper Squad's falling back. <coughs> Most of the Aztecs play, so I'm starting to cast into GG's. Wolfram and Barrage rains on it. Gets severe damage across all the priests, but doesn't get any wipes. And these nice cross holders are getting ripped apart there. Stu's firing, get a decent hit there. These guys just still need medical supplies. These nice crossbows are advancing. We'll find a pair of riflemen there as the pack 30 finds a kill there in the infantry. And looks like one of the players have backed out the game. I think this guy's backing out as well. Just don't see indications. And there we go. That's the end of the replay. This is Anne Great saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.